Hello and welcome back to Rich Tech. Today we've got this uh, 60 watt MagSafe 2 charger. But its main problem is that it doesn't have a connector at this end. This cable has been cut short. So you want to replace this cable with another cable. The problem is I've tried to open up this charger in the normal way. Uh, pulling this casing aside but it's too tight. Seems a uh, you really did a good job in sealing this joint so it's not breaking apart. On this other side I have this syringe and it has some petrol inside. This is a new method I've heard that it works. This petrol can dissolve the seal or the sealant at this seal. So let's see if this works. So I've got it in a syringe and if you're doing this obviously you need to use caution. So I'm going to put a bit of this on the seal the joint all the way need to do this in an aerated area because of the petrol fumes so I'll let that soak and see if we can open this charger from this end let me also put some in there You can also try putting some to this other end. And this end too. So I'll let this soak for some time and then we see if it uh, pops open. Now uh, these are soaked for a few minutes, let's see if it opens using the usual method we employ uh, that is using a plies, a pair of plies Wow! That is simple This is revolutionary, look at that so simple. I mean, it was only waiting to be opened. The glue has been dissolved, and this is opening easily. Look, and it's opening only by hand. It's opening all round. Sorry for the lighting uh, this time, but uh, thought I should show you this. Uh, this has opened very easily and there is no breakage anywhere seems the petrol has dissolved all the glue around the seams look at that so clean, neat. Oh, job. Now returning this should also be easy. Only now that you know that petrol works. Uh, all we need to do now is to make sure we dry up all the joints, around the joints. Now the use of petrol also puts an end to the difficulty in opening these charges. Sometimes you have to use a lot of strength to pull apart these cases. Now using petrol is very simple. Only that petrol is dangerous, so you have to do this in an open place and uh, make sure you observe all safety measures. Otherwise, using petrol is very simple. And this also goes for charges for Windows uh, laptops. Now we can move on and uh, repair this charger and cut off this cable and replace it with the cable we have here. So you 
this cable the cable is good but the charger is dead so you're going to remove this cable from here and uh, use it on this charger now for this you cut off the spoiled cable easily I've already removed this other cable from the destroyed burn charger this is how it looks I want to join these two here the black to the black and uh, the white to the white and before we join these two with the solder I want to test if this charger is working so I'll connect it to a power source connect it to a power source you hear that pop that tells you that this charger has uh, input once you apply the uh, power source now we'll uh, test this with the MacBook so we place our connector on the MacBook then we connect these two wires to the charger be careful this and that green light tells us that the connector is okay and also the charger is okay now we can go ahead and solder these two now this is not turning to amber because this MacBook is full and uh, once it's full it stops charging so the charging cycle or the charging starts when this MacBook is uh, discharged and when that is happening this light will be amber we've applied solder to both ends of these wires which you want to solder both at this end and at that end so we just hold them together apply some heat using the gun then allow that solder to cool down and hold wire that's a good joint go ahead and insulate it with tape use a small piece of tape only ensure that you so uh, you insulate the whole soldered area so that there is no shortage once this is all back we also soldered the white V out wire that's a nice joint and insulate it now for insulation you can use heat shrink tubing or uh, this is the insulating tape now all this area we've soldered is well insulated now we can pack all this back here and uh, just rotate so that the wire does not have strain rotate this junction and uh, place it in its position once the junction in its, is in its position now we can put the upper casing but before we do that we need to apply glue all around can also apply glue to this portion basically all the raised parts this will ensure that the joint when the glue dries is very tough it cannot come apart And here is the charger. I couldn't be able to film the part when I was uh, gluing these two sides together. It is the same charger. And now it is complete.
the cable on the junction here has fit nicely and uh, now it's time to test here we are already connected to the power source here's the connector let's uh, connect this to the macbook and see what happens there we go since the macbook is uh, fully charged the light remains green but as you can see it is uh, working fine so that's how you open up a charger using uh, petrol and also because you use petrol you need to dry up these edges well because uh, when you want to apply glue you will need uh, there to be nothing that can uh, resist its uh, drying up nicely because the petrol removes the glue all around once again if you like this content kindly subscribe like and share the video also give comments i really appreciate your comments and uh, happy repairs